The Honda CB500X Adventure Bike has a starting price of Rs. 6, 31,898. There is just one variation and two colors offered. The 471cc BS6 engine that powers the Honda CB500X produces 43.2 Newton meters of torque and 46.93 horsepower. The Honda CB500X has an anti-locking braking system together with both front and rear disc brakes. The gasoline tank on this CB500X motorcycle can hold 17.7 .7 gallons of petrol and weights 199 kg. To compete with the likes of the Kawasaki Versys 650, Suzuki V-Strom 650 XT, and Benelli TRK 502, the Honda CB500X Adventure Tourer has joined the Indian market via the completely knocked down way. The motorbike will be offered for sale through India's top large bike stores operated by Honda. Along with features like full LED lighting and a negative LCD instrument cluster, the ADV Tourer has a tough design. The headlamp has a crisp outline, a semi-fairing, a single-piece saddle, a tall windscreen, and an upswept exhaust as aesthetic elements. The motorcycle is mounted on alloy wheels with tubeless tires measuring 19 inches up front and 17 inches behind. The Covalent TC1B500X's mainframe is made of steel tubes in the shape of a diamond, telescopic forks are used up front, and a monoshock with a 9-step preload adjustment is used to absorb shock. A 471cc, 8-valve, liquid-cooled, parallel twin-cylinder engine with adjusted output of 43.2 Nm at 6,500 revolutions per minute and 47 bhp at 8,500 revolutions per minute is part of the mechanical characteristics, an assist and a slipper clutch mechanism are included in the 6-speed gearbox that the engine is connected to. Honda's fun-focused twin-cylinder, light middleweight, triumvirate now includes the Covalent C1B500X, which was first introduced in 2013 together with the naked CB500F and fully fared CBR500R. It's a motorbike that quietly goes about its business of being incredibly capable and flexible for a wide range of riders. The Covalent C1B500X's usefulness is the result of a simple formula. A perky, well-regarded twin-cylinder engine that produces real torque and drive from low RPM and revs hard up top. Plus a chassis that provides an exceptionally comfortable ride both in town and on the open road. All of this is wrapped in distinctive adventure styling. With non-adjustable show a separate function big piston upside-down forks and twin 296mm front brake discs and two piston calipers in place of the Covalent C1B500X's 310mm single front brake setup, Honda has completely updated the model for 2022. A 5.9kg swingarm that subtracts just over a kilogram while allegedly increasing lateral flex and torsional rigidity by 18% is added to this. The 5-stage preload adjustable rear shock has been changed to match the new forks and the bike rides on semi nobbly Dunlop Trailmax Mixtor rubber. Likewise, the 19-inch front wheel is now lighter. Although it is challenging to substantiate numerical claims of improved rigidity at the rear, the bike changes directions with predictable accuracy. The previous one's setup was okay. But the newer model seems more stable, keeping a line at speed and swerving from one turn to the next like a lightweight roadster, let alone an elevated adventure bike. For 2022, the 471cc parallel twin engine is basically unaltered. Since it is a stressed element of the chassis, Euro 5 compliance was achieved in 2020. Honda has adjusted the fuel injection settings to increase low-end torque even though it already produces 47 bhp, the maximum power allowed for the A2 license class. A slightly smaller radiator has also been bolted in, reducing the overall weight by an additional 100 grams. The ultra-smooth unit nevertheless feels precisely the same as it did before, spinning back at you with each blip of the throttle and emitting a gravelly burble, but this is not a bad thing. 
Everyone from new riders to commuters to world travelers has loved the Honda Covalent TC1B500X, with experienced riders making up 75% of all purchasers. Given the advertised 300 miles per tank of fuel, the 8,000 mile service intervals, and the extensive dealer network, it is simple to understand what, not to mention the simple handling, comfortable riding posture, and mature appearance. The Honda CB500X feels very well constructed, and its modern design elements and gold USD forks have all the characteristics of a bike that costs twice as much. However, it lacks a lot of common features for a machine set that will cost over 6,250 pounds when it reaches dealers. To begin with, other from the abs, there are no further technological assistance or riding modes that are optional. Although they are not necessities for the bike, traction control is becoming a feature on certain 125cc Honda scooters to assist beginning riders, so having the choice would be convenient. The small LCD dash is also somewhat unimpressive when compared to the mobile connectable TFTs that are already appearing on KTM's A2 compliant 390 series. A tall standard screen, which deflects sufficient of wind for hours of relaxing miles in the saddle, helps to reduce rider fatigue. Additionally, broad, wide bars and a convenient rail above the dash are perfect for putting a sat-nav. Heated grips, a large screen, a magnetic tank bag, a top box, and more add-ons are available to customize your Covalent C1B500X. Despite having a wide selection to meet the demands of most riders, some features, like a center stand, truly should be included as standard, especially considering how much more expensive it is than its competitors.